Overall, right now, people feeling like, I want to be more in shape. I want to lose weight, but I'm tired and I don't really want to work that hard for it. How, like, what do we do with that attitude with those people? Hi there. Good afternoon. So that is a very popular question. I get asked this all day, every day, especially since, you know, New Year's 2023. I always tell people there's no substitute for the basics. You got to eat healthy. You got to exercise. You got to put the work in. But I get it. There's people who do all that, but they're still not able to lose the weight. They're stuck in a specific weight or they can't work out. They don't have the time. I'm sure you've heard about this new miracle drug out in the market. Everybody's been using to help achieve their weight loss goals. So semaglutide, which is the generic name for Ozempic, um, as well as some other uh, medications that are out. So Manjaro is another one that came out in May 2022. Generic name for that is trizepatide. They're medications that people are injecting once a week, and it dramatically helps you achieve your weight loss goals. People are losing anywhere from 5 to 10 pounds per month on it, um, and it works um, amazingly. I see excellent results on patients every time they come in for follow-ups. Hmm. All right. Yes, I do want to talk about those because I, I will confess, l- like literally every woman I know in Connecticut and then when I was in Montana um, mm-hmm. has said, Ozempic, Ozempic, Ozempic. <laughs> like, it seems like yeah. everybody is taking this drug so much so that there's a shortage of it now for real diabetics, according to what I read, who are frustrated that people who just want to lose weight are getting it. And I, right. if you really need to lose weight, you sh- I like this drug for you, right? But it's like the vanity, the vanity, like the thin women who are taking it, I guess I can see why people are upset that their diabetes drug, any event, they're trying to make more, 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 more. The thing that I've heard about, I don't know if, if there's a difference between Ozempic, uh, We Govy is the mm-hmm. other one. There's a couple of other ones out there. Is there, is there, first of all, let's start. Is there any real difference between them? So Wigovi and Ozempic, two different manufacturers, two different brands, but the active ingredient is both the same. It's semaglutide for both different brands. So just different companies. Um, Manjaro is a different company, different active ingredient. Um, That's terzepatide. And then there's a handful of other companies. Uh, There's Saxenda, also Victoza. Both of those, the active ingredient is miraglutide. But in short, they all kind of do the same thing. Manjaro, they boast that they act on two receptors as opposed to one receptor, which is all, all the other ones do, semaglutide, which is the generic for Ozempic, um, Wegovi. So Manjaro has been shown to be more promising, provide more potent results compared to the others. The others work mm. well also, but Manjaro tends to be more potent. That, that's what the literature shows. Oh, well, that, that sounds promising. Um, yeah. The, the the knock on these drugs, and I don't know about that last one, Manjaro, but the knock on these other drugs is they could cause th- thyroid cancer, which <laughs> it's nice to be thin, but you don't want to get thyroid cancer. Absolutely. So there is a black box warning. In rodents, there have been reports of thyroid cancer uh, forming. There are no reports from what we know as of now in humans developing it. But for patients who go on it, whether you're diabetic or whether you're using it for weight loss purposes, you know, I do let everybody know that that is one of the warnings. So if you have a history of thyroid cancer or family history of thyroid cancer, no, it's probably not the best option for you. It was reported in rodents, but the good thing is it has not been reported in humans yet, but something to be aware of and mindful of. Well, are these drugs that I realize they're only recently being used sort of, I guess, off-label for weight loss, but have the diabetics been on these drugs for a long time and are diabetics coming up with thyroid cancer? Um, So great question. These new category of medications are fairly new. They've really only been out for a couple of years. You know, Zempic was one of the first ones. So diabetic patients have been treated, you know, traditionally the way they have been, whether it's with insulin or other diabetic oral medication. Um, It's not as if most diabetics were being treated with this. This is all brand new. But yes, Mm -hmm. I understand the frustration if a diabetic can benefit from this and there's a shortage, I would understand why would they be frustrated, why they would be frustrated. Um, mm-hmm. But the diabetics who are on it, no, from what I understand at this point, there have been no reports of humans developing thyroid cancer from these medications. And the, is it one of those things where like the little rats who got the thyroid cancer were giving like overwhelming do- doses and then they got the cancer? You know what I mean? Is it like if, yeah. you, if you keep yeah. your dose low, you're less likely to get cancer? <laughs> you know, great question. I don't have the answer to that. They just tell us that there's reports of rodents getting thyroid cancer. So whether it's a low dose or high dose, I'm not sure. Uh, But it's promising to know that it hasn't happened in humans yet. 
Yes. What? But it's still young. I mean, that's the it problem. Is. It's like, well, it is. It's how long can new. you stay on these medications? Exactly. So, you know, if you're diabetic, they stay on a main sense dose and they continue to stay on it for management of their diabetes and their glucose levels. For people who are using it for weight loss purposes, typically they take it short term, two, three, four months, and then they stop. Um, but that is one of the things we need to be aware of because we don't know what may happen down the line at this point. Okay, so that's that brings me to my question about what happens when they stop. Last year, Andy Cohen tweeted out, everyone is suddenly showing up 25 pounds lighter. <laughs> what happens when they stop taking Ozempic? Is there a rebound? From my experience, I do have a pretty large number of patients on it, whether it's for diabetes or weight loss. I think most people have maintained the weight off once they stop, as long as they continue to follow a healthy lifestyle. Of course, if you're going to all of a sudden stop working out, just indulge in high calorie foods, the weight will come back on. I did have two patients that naturally have always been overly obese that did continue a maintenance dose. But for the larger portion, most people just stop the medication and have been able to maintain the weight off. So I've been talking about the amazing Extreme Altitude Wines from the Bonner Private Wine Partnership because they're back. They're back with an amazing offer from my audience. It's winter, of course, and these flavors happen to go great with any hearty meal and meat that you may be serving. They're unlike any wine that you've ever tasted. Black berry, leather, smoke, little dark cherry in there. Don't you love dark cherry? It makes everything better. The wines are almost impossible to get on your own. The producers deep in the Andes Mountains make limited quantities. Today, I have an amazing offer that I've never had before. If you visit Bonner, B-O-N-N-E-R, privatewines.com slash M-K-S, you will not only get wine for over 50% off, plus free shipping, you will also get a bonus bottle of small batch limited production wine from their exclusive wine cellar. That's four bottles for the price of three. It's a deal that's hard to turn down if you're a wine lover like I am. They've cut out the middleman, so you're not going to pay a big markup. You just visit Bonner, B-O-N-N-E-R, privatewines.com slash M-K-S to claim your bonus bottle and become a part of America's most unique wine club. Try these wines and see for yourself. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.